While Amraphel was king of Shinar, Elasa's king Arioch, Elam's king Keterlamer, and Goyim's king Tidal declared war on Sodom's king Bera, Gamara's king Bershah, Adma's king Shernab, Zeboim's king Shemeber, and the king of Bela, that is, Zor. These latter kings formed an alliance in the Siddim Valley, that is, the Dead Sea. For twelve years they had served Keterlamer, and in the thirteenth year they revolted. In the fourteenth year, Keterlamer and the kings of his alliance came and attacked the Rephaim in Ashtaroth Karnaim, the Zuzim in Ham, the Emim in Shave Kiriathane, and the Horites in the mountains of Seir as far as Elperon near the desert. Then they turned back, came to En Mishpat, that is, Kadesh, and attacked the territory of the Amalekites, as well as the Amorites who lived in Hazazan Tamar. Then the kings of Sodom, Gamara, Adma, Zeboim, and Bera, that is, Zor, took up battle positions in the Siddim Valley against King Keterlamer of Elam, King Tidal of Goyim, King Amraphel of Shinar, and King Arioch of Elasa, for kings against five. Now the Siddim Valley was filled with tar pits. When the kings of Sodom and Gomorrah retreated, they fell into them, and the rest fled to the mountains. They took everything from Sodom and Gomorrah, including its food supplies, and left. They also took Lot, Abram's nephew who lived in Sodom, and everything he owned, and took off. When a survivor arrived, he told Abram the Hebrew, who lived near the oaks of the Amorite Mamre, who was the brother of Eshcol and Aner, Abram's treaty partners. When Abram heard that his relative had been captured, he took all of the loyal men born in his household, 318, and went after them as far as Dan. During the night, he and his servants divided themselves up against them, attacked, and chased them to Hoba, north of Damascus. He brought back all of the looted property, together with his relative Lot and Lot's property, wives, and people. After Abram returned from his attack on Keterlamer and the kings who were with him, the king of Sodom came out to the Shave Valley, that is, the king's valley, to meet him. Now Melchizedek the king of Salem and the priest of El Elyon had brought bread and wine, and he blessed him, Bless Abram by El Elyon, creator of heaven and earth, bless El Elyon, who gave you the victory over your enemies. Abram gave Melchizedek one-tenth of everything. Then the king of Sodom said to Abram, Give me the people and take the property for yourself. But Abram said to the king of Sodom, I promised the Lord, El Elyon, creator of heaven and earth, that I wouldn't take even a thread or a sandal strap from anything that was yours so that you couldn't say, I'm the one who made Abram rich. The only exception is that the young men may keep whatever they have taken to eat, and the men who went with me, Aner, Eshkol, and Mamre, may keep their share. 